we have yet another very, very important choice that you have to make in Dying Light 2. This particular choice occurs about halfway through the second act. You have an opportunity to either work with the possibly dubious huckster Juan or to stay loyal to the peacekeepers and keep working with Jack Matt. This is a very important decision that can really shape the end game depending on the choices you make here. If you choose to work with Juan, you will not have an opportunity until much, much later in the game to work again with Jack Matt. If you work with Jack Matt, there's maybe one opportunity, I don't think there really is though, to work again with Juan. All of this culminates into the decision you make at the communications tower, whether or not you want to send it to Frank or Juan or Jack Matt, depending on these choices. If you're looking for an interesting alternative to the dichotomy that we've seen so far in this game, a secret renegade ending, then stick with Juan. I'll show you both options and what can be done. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. How do I know you're not using me to make a movie your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here. Last I heard from him. Find him. Then... <laughs> Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on, let's get you to a doctor. You saved us. Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. 
Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Remember, the boy's name is Sebastian. Hey! Hey, you guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. I'm sure I'll be fine, but I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps. but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I... The one. Get lost. <laughs> oh well. That's more like it. Hey, Demolin? Got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Merci, Eden. You did your job well. Unfortunately, Sebastian didn't make it. I'm sorry to hear that. Poor boy. I so wanted to show him my father's shop. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan, we secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh. Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. Mission accomplished. Shh. Do you know what that is, Aiden? Uh, it looks like uh, mouse turds, buckshot. Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Belugas, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Dissolving on your tongue, you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. What do you mean? You can't be obsessed with political machinations and enjoy the beauty of life at the same time. Who do you mean? The Jack Mats and Aidens of the world. Such a shame you picked the wrong team. Only team I'm on is my own. Sounds lonely. 
I'm not a fan of loneliness, you see. Did Matt reveal to you what he'll do with those lamps in a place without power? And how he plans to carry out this suicidal mission? As I thought. Take this and call him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Matt, the lamps are ready. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan? Yeah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay, and when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. <sighs> that. Well, I hope you like taking orders, Aiden. Because Jack loves giving them. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Take care of these two for me, will you? It worked. Great. And uh, listen, uh, been thinking. Radio New Hope is still an option, but it's your choice. When I turn on the transmitter, Matt will tell me about the GRE doctor. I need to know where my sister is, and what Waltz did to us. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but I need Waltz's files. I see, Aiden. You've, uh, made your choice. Over and out. Aiden. Job is done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys. Their deaths will not be in vain. The elevators are working again. See you soon. Is per Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nutjob, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Well? Juan, Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? <laughs> By what? A, a ghost? Yeah, right. Anyway, the cathedral's been locked up for years, but there's scaffolding around it. You can probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy. Welcome, stranger. This is where your journey ends. Many have come here. None have left alive. Sometimes, I wonder what you feel. Primitive beings. Thieves overcome with Read. Surrounded by wonders you cannot comprehend. And then, I get bored of wondering. And just kill you. What the fuck happened here? Hey! You there? My name's Aiden. I just want to talk. Human scum! <laughs> 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 
going on here? Curious. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Yeah, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Hey! Oh, great. Mm, the cables. I've got to find a source of power. Where are you? Listen to me, you nutcase! Why must you bother me? Leave me alone, you hear? <laughs> Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. Wait, what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto! She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And, uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. What is this place, anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years, and haven't met one yet. This place is huge. Well, those who built it believed that this way they would get closer to God. But when the epidemic came, it didn't help anyone. Why did you murder those peacekeepers? I didn't murder anyone. I defended myself against people who wanted to rob me. Wouldn't you do the same if strangers broke into your home? I don't know. I never had a home. I got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me. You have it? Good. <sighs> Wait a moment. You did it. 
Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so what's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. One. Success. Kurt fixed the... That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. You're back. There. All fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like, uh, uh pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black, deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things, beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Hey, Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Ada. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? One? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay, and when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Juan gets what he wants, and gives me what I want. The way to find Mia. The truth about her. Sometimes our choices are bigger than ourselves. Sometimes the things we do, they matter. I'm not gonna try to convince you. You got the transmitter working. It's your call. I'm sorry, Frank. I have to find Mia. I appreciate your vision for the future, but... I need to find this GRE doctor. I see. You've, uh, made your choice. Over and out. Now I just have to connect the bug to Jack's transmitter. Job's done, Matt. The antenna's working. Good. I knew I could count on you. You did a great job, son. Row and the boys, their deaths will not be in vain. Don't think I've forgotten, Aiden. I'll see you soon. 
As soon as the elevators are back online. I won. I did what you wanted. You did the right thing. You chose common sense and empathy instead of fascist pipe dreams. What about your part of the deal? Don't think I've forgotten, Aiden. I'll contact you soon. The Peacekeeper's mission is to serve the city and exterminate the infected. Tired of chaos? Do you believe in order? It's time for you to act. Join the Peacekeepers. The key to bringing order to the city might be you. Enlist today.